In this lecture, we are going to design a push-down automata for language WWR such that W belongs to 0 plus 1 polystar or push-down automata for even length palindromes. All the strings of this form, they are even length palindromes. So, this is our components of PDA. There are three states Q0, Q1 and Q2. This is our input alphabet 0 and 1. Now, stack symbols, they are 0, 1 and Z. Delta, it is our transition function. Q0, it is our initial state. Z, it is bottom stack marker. And Q2, it is our final state. So first, we see some strings of this form. So our strings of this form, WWR, 0 1 0 1 see in this case what is our w and what is our wr so we can see this is our w part 1 0 1 0 3. this is our reverse part reverse of w so this string should be accepted what is the length of this string 1 2 4 and it is 8 that is even Similarly, 0, 0, it should be accepted. This is W, this is WR. What is then? 2. Again, even. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. In this case, this is our W, this is our WR. It should be accepted. What is the length here? It is 6. So, PDA will accept all strings over 0 and 1 which are palindromes but the condition is the length should be even that's why even length palindromes okay so one important thing null should be accepted why the length is 0 and null null this is our w part and this is our wr part so again it is null so it should be accepted so let's start writing the delta function uh, before that we should mention one thing this is wcwr the position automata for this WCWR, it was deterministic in nature. And we are going to design push on automata for WWR. It will be non deterministic in nature. There is a remarkable difference between these two machines. In this case, there is a particular symbol in between W and WR which tells us this is our middle. So the remaining part is just matching. Match this, this one against this and decide if this part is reverse with this one. In this case, this C is missing, so we don't say our middle is reached. Okay, we cannot say definitely our middle is reached, we just guess our middle is reached, and accordingly, we apply the transition functions. By applying the transition function again and again and again, if all the input symbols they are consumed and the stack symbols they are also consumed bottom stack marker is exposed then only we can say that our string is accepted okay but if we guess incorrectly then although our string is in this form that is wwr we cannot accept it so what we'll do 
we just backtrack and apply the other alternative for delta. Ultimately, there is a way following which if a string is in this form, if this if the string is in this form, it should be accepted. It can be accepted. But if you are taking wrong move, then it cannot be accepted. That is the difference between this and this. Okay. One more thing. Just by taking transition over null doesn't make any push down automata non-deterministic. We see later what is the difference between deterministic and non-deterministic uh, push down automata. In case of uh, DFA, transition of null makes the DFA NFA. But in this case, just transition of null cannot make a push down automata non deterministic. There are some other rules also. Okay, so let's start writing the delta function. So this is our first delta q0. At state q0, we are getting 0 as input. And at that time, the top of the stack is Z. And what should we do? We should push the symbol. So you are pushing 0 over stack. Similarly, if you are in state Q0 and getting 1 as input, at that time, the top of the stack was Z. Then what will we do? We push this 1 over the stack. So our new top becomes 1. Okay. Now, after that, if you are in state Q0, you are getting 0 as input, and at that time, the top of the stack is 0, then what should we do? If you are in state Q0, we are getting a 0 as input, and at that time, if the top of the stack was 1, then what should we do? Similarly, there are other combination Q0, 1 and 1. 1 by 1, we see them. So, in this case, we are state Q0, we are pushing 0 over stack. In this case, our new top is 0. In this case, our new top will be 1. In this case, 1, 1. Okay. So, these rules, they keep, they keep pushing all the symbols 0 and 1 over stack. Okay. Now, if you state Q0, we read nothing that is null at that time the top of the stack it can be either 0 it can be either 1 so we are moving to a new state that is q1 0 remains 0 1 remains 1 so what basically we are doing here we are simply guessing that our middle is reached and we are entering a new state Q1. From Q1, we start comparing the input string from top of the stack and popping them. Okay, so here we are non deterministically changing the state. We are adding nothing, see, null, null. Okay. Now, we are in state Q1, we are reading 0, at that time the top of the stack is 0, then there is a match and we pop that 0. Similarly, if we are in state Q1, we are getting 1 as input, at that time the top of the stack is 1, then what we'll do? We pop 
and we kept popping the symbols one by one if there is a match. Finally, the bottom stack marker will expose and the inputs they are all consumed so what we will get null so here it is we are in state q1 the input symbols they are all consumed and that bottom stack marker z is exposed then we move to q2 state that is our final state and we should accept it okay now we see by taking a few example at least one example is it working correctly or something is missing okay so we taking an example of a b sorry we are taking 0 and 1 so we take 0 1 1 and 0 this is in the form of wwr so it should be accepted by all machine post on automata and we number the transition function transition rules that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 the 11 rules this is our stack initially z is here this is our initial state q0 so we are in state q0 we are reading 0 or getting 0 as input at that time the top of the stack was z then which transition rule should be applicable which one q0 and z q0 and z rule number one we are in q0 0 as input top of the stack is z so what we are doing we are just pushing this 0 so we push this 0 ok state remains same that is q0 our next symbol is 1 so q0 on getting 1 now our new new top is 0 q0 1 0 q0 1 0 which one rule number 5 q0 1 0 so what we do we push this one on top on stack so our new top it becomes 1 and this, these two symbols they are consumed now if we change our state by consuming null that is nothing because we can see here our middle part uh, the first part that is w is consumed the remaining part is wr then only we can accept this string if we are not changing our state here the string cannot be accepted although it is in the form of wwr ok that's why it becomes non-deterministic we have a choice so in this case we are taking the correct solution so from q0 to 1 q0 to 1 because w part is w part is finished we change our state so from q0 at the top of the stack it is 1 we read nothing that is none we just change our state so it becomes q1 ok so we are now in q1 state now next we are in state q1 we are getting 1 as input at that time the top is 1 so there is a match 1 1 what we should do we should pop so this transition rule 10 is applicable and this symbol is popped ok next is we are in state q1 input is 0 top is 0 there is a match rule number 9 is applicable we pop it finally we are in state q1 all the input symbols they are consumed so what is here there is what is here here it is done so q1 null z we are moving to q2 and this string is accepted see one thing we change our state here 
okay if we change our state after this one that is after 0 1 1 then although a string is in the form of wwr it cannot be accepted then we should try some other alternative finally if the string is in this form wwr there must be one alternative at least one alternative following which the strings can be accepted okay so our example is this finished not yet there is one thing remaining and that is null what about null because null it is also in the form of wwr it should be accepted so we introduce one extra rule and that is rule number 12 we are in state q0 we read nothing that is null the top of the stack is z then we should move to k1 and z remains z okay so this rule will take care of this string that is null how just nothing q0 null z we are moving to q1 z q1 z where is q1 q1 now q1 there is nothing in the input so null the top is z so we are moving to q2 which is our final state so null is accepted now this example is complete so this is a about our post automata which accept wwr so go through these rules carefully and take more examples and practice okay thanks for watching this video thank you